Okay, here we go. Okay. If curiosity really killed the cat, I would have been long dead by now. I have often wondered if a person's skin color, ethnicity, and nationality define their identity. Growing up with an Indonesian-born Punjabi mother meant spending my childhood surrounded by three different languages. Being on the receiving end of love made me indifferent to the devotion of my father. Love did not always present itself in an attractive package form. Being a part of patients' lives and supporting them through tough times has strengthened my aspiration to become a humanistic physician. To achieve this goal, I seek an education that fosters empathy, good communication and broad thinking alongside medical knowledge. I can't imagine you not majoring in anthropology. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I can see like the whiffs of anthropology really. I was six and our housekeeper was convinced we were not Kenyans. In my mind, I was sure that if I countered her argument in Swahili, it would be enough. My test papers are no longer drearily filled with the rigid absolutes of what, but instead now gleam the endless possibilities of what. Oh. I was very proud of that sentence. I love it. <laughs> Love was when you feel so utterly responsible for the well-being of another, such that even unconsciously, you seek to make that person's life a priority instead of yours. I really uh, did think of myself as Kenyan. It's the only place that I had lived all my life, you know, born there as well. Uh, but when I was very young, I was told that I'm not. And, um, you know, that's been, a, that's been an experience throughout my life. And um, so it's, it's always been this constant battle between my identities, if that makes sense. I'm confident that Yale and US can provide greater opportunities for me to grow further. Whether in people management. Whoa. Oh wow. <laughs> so corporate, right? Yeah. I'm a psychology major. My desire to broaden my understanding of different cultures fuels my interest in anthropology. I don't remember writing that I was interested in anthropology, but I have taken anthro classes, so I guess it all worked out. It sounds like, like, uh, I don't know, therapy session in my essay. Maybe that was what they were looking for, someone who was really honest. Coming here to college really helped me get, I guess, um, helped me accept that aspect of my identity better in that now I, you know, uh, think of it more of as a, as a unique opportunity and a unique upbringing. I didn't expect my younger self to have written this. I was not someone who wasn't satisfied with just black and white kind of thinking or, or seeing the world. <coughs> yeah. I love like the in-betweens, right? And I think coming here, finding anthropology was like a time to really sit with these complexities. I've just been like shaped and molded and Yale US has provided the space for me to do that and to kind of discover myself and be independent and have this whole like coming of age moment which I feel like you see in the movies. I think they really helped me a lot because I was very insecure with like my ability to write and everything. They my cheerleaders. If you spend five years in this sort of environment, you kind of think differently to keep an open mind and go with the flow. It's okay that you don't get everything right now. And you do sound a bit sheltered and also a bit conceited <laughs> in this wow. essay. Very self-aware. To relax and that like, it will work itself out. And I feel like my college experience has been testament to that. I never imagined that a small group of people would make it to a place like this. I, I just didn't think it, something like this was possible for someone like me. Um, I wish I was there to encourage myself. Stepping outside my comfort zone. The day we submitted Capstone together in our seat living room. I remember we put our laptops together. Oh my god, let's press the button together. I would like to thank personally from the bottom of my heart, Blue House. I love how strong your espressos are. Every single drink is a double shot. The fact that you have all sorts of milk, even though I only drink regular milk. Such a positive, bumbling energy at 8.30 a.m. in the morning. Thank you. To the class of 2023, happy graduation. Connect with me on LinkedIn. <laughs> so I'm just very excited to see like all the different places that we will go. Take care and everything will be alright. Wish you all the success and all the love for the rest of your life.